the uh, capillary pressure data is a truly elegant data loader. So uh, let's see how cool it really is. So let's go ahead and grab an Excel spreadsheet that we're going to be loading into the database. Uh, we can view the file and we can take a look at it and see how it looks everywhere. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file for editing. And to do that, we need to load some parameters. So we'll start the selection. These ones here in red are required fields. And that's the depth. We're going to also grab the injection pressure. We're going to grab the sample ID. And then we also need with the mercury saturation, because without that, there's not a lot we can do. Notice I just drag a little and let go. And it goes to the rest. We're also going to need the porosity. And we're going to need the perm. So we've done that. We've selected them all. The one of these parameters you have to give units is the depth. You can give the others units if you'd like, but it's not required. We then stop the selection. We exit. It's going to ask us if we want to save changes. Yes. And we can save this to San Luis. 2012, say, this could say, do you want to apply it to the selected sheets? You say, yes. We then give it a plug set, and we're going to call this one Cap Press Galveston. And that's very important to give them these cap pressures because that defines the curve name. And then you can take a look and see what we're going to be loading. You can also give it units here if you'd like. You can preview the data, and we're just going to load the data. We've now loaded all the plug data, and as I said, this really is a truly elegant and slick data loader.